Did you know women could do science? Seems kind of obvious now, but while everyone remembers their Flemings and Einsteins and Newtons, few females come to mind. So let's change that. This is Study Abroad, where we take a look at some of history's coolest ladies. This episode, scientists. Everyone knows about Marie Curie, but she wasn't the only nuclear physicist of her time. There was also Lise Meitner, whom Einstein himself called the German Marie Curie. And for good reason. She dedicated her life in pursuit of education, in spite of everything being against her. She was an Austrian in Germany, she was a woman in science, she was Jewish during the World Wars. Nonetheless, she worked closely with Otto Hahn studying radiochemistry. The basic split was Hahn theorizing and Meitner experiment. And in the 1930s, they, alongside fellow researchers, discovered nuclear fission, which basically splits a nucleus and releases a bunch of energy. A famous example, the atomic bomb. One thing Curie and Meitner don't have in common is that Mary Curie won two Nobel Prizes while Meitner won none. This is despite Hahn winning the 1944 Nobel Prize for Chemistry for their joint research. It should be noted that it wasn't entirely sexism's fault, mostly that the Nobel Committee just didn't think Meitner's physics was relevant to Hahn's chemistry, proving that even scientists can be super dumb. Now I mentioned the atomic bomb, which was the result of the Manhattan Project. One person to work on this was Jian Xiongwu. Born in China, she could always be found at the top of her class. And in 1936, she hopped on a plane to America to pursue graduate studies. Now originally, she was gonna go to the University of Michigan, but then she heard that women weren't allowed to use the front entrance and immediately thought, screw that, that's stupid, and went to Berkeley instead. She eventually specialized in beta decay, which I'm not gonna explain because I'm not smart enough, but I am gonna tell you that this specialty was used in the Wu experiment. This experiment proved that if we lived in a world completely mirrored to our own, it wouldn't behave like a world completely mirrored to our own. That is, there would be more differences than just left being right and right being left, which just blew the physics community's minds. And last, but never forgotten, except for that time that she was totally forgotten, Rosalind Franklin. She was put in charge of DNA research at King's College. Now, this immediately started some friction between her and her fellow researchers, and that wasn't aided by the fact that she didn't smile and she was blunt, which I could rant about the issues with for ages, but let's focus on Rosalind. This friction eventually led to her and Maurice Wilkins splitting DNA research between its two forms. Franklin would take A DNA and Wilkins would take B DNA. Now Wilkins and other researchers to come were a bit trigger happy. They found an answer they liked and just settled on it. On the other hand, Franklin was cautious and just kept shutting them down. And it all came to a head when Franklin took photo 51. Now she was in the middle of confirming DNA structure when James Watson, another researcher, waddled into her lab and suggested that they should work together because, you know what, she might not be able to interpret her data correctly. She kicked him out for obvious reasons, and then Wilkins, feeling sorry for this douchebag, shared photo 51 with Watson and they decided to run with it and announce the structure of DNA based off research they didn't do. This was considered the most important scientific discovery of the 20th century. This won them the 1962 Nobel Prize. Rosalind didn't win it. Instead, she died of ovarian cancer because life is a cruel joke. Anyway, who are some cool women you think I should talk about next time? Suggest them down below. If you like study abroad or just cool women in general, I suggest you subscribe to Snarled for more. And if you like me, you can find me on YouTube at Nerdy and Quirky. That was a lot of S's. That was a, that was a tongue twister.